Okay, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AAPL. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I like to do a big board every now and then, and given Apple is one of the most popular companies out there and most talked about stocks, uh, and I've had a few questions on it, I uh, wanted to get this one uh, updated here and just kind of talk about a few things uh, from the charting perspective. This one's pretty uh, straightforward in terms of supports and resistance levels and what levels to watch from the overall chart perspective. Uh, so if you're like a micro day trader, then this you know, video is pr probably not going to pertain to you. But if you like to do some swing trading and stuff like that, uh, you know that's more of the time frame and mindset that this video is going to pertain to. So let's just first start off with uh, some supports. And the big level of support is right here. Uh, we'll just call that right around uh, 420 and you can see I'll first change this to green to represent support that this price history has quite a bit or excuse me this price level has quite a bit of history uh, on the chart you can see back here we had a bounce off of it as support right there bounce off it as support price hovered around there a little bit but when the price did break through it on this day right there you can see the results of that uh, were pretty extreme found resistance right there the day uh, before and then the next day you can see back tested it and was once again support came back down and you get I think the gist of things and then yesterday once again uh, the low was at uh, 418.90 so again just using 420 especially on a big board stock like this that's you know trading over $400 uh, you know supports we're not looking for for them you know spot dead on the penny uh, but 420 like I've just shown has a lot of history so that's definitely the key level of support right now if that level doesn't hold uh, then I would not be shocked at all and the price will probably head right back down here to right around these lows of you know 389 to you know 385 from where it was back there in late to mid April so I'll make that extra thick because if this level doesn't hold then you know you got uh, some major problems as you know the, the you're, you're gonna be putting in newer lows and that's never a good thing. Now in terms of resistances, again, pretty straightforward. If we take this level here and just drop it down right there, you can see again, lots of price history right, right around this area. I won't harp on it as much as I did last time, but again, going through it on the gap down, acted as resistance acted as resistance, acted as resistance. So we'll call this level right up there at 465. So 420, 465 is kind of the channel it's been in right now. Had a couple of times where it's broken in or outside of the channel, but relatively quickly after it's done that, it's fallen right back into the channel from doing that. So that's the key level uh, that's making up this channel. And then with a the break of this uh, 465 area, next level of resistance is up there around the bottom of this you can see here act support and then acted as resistance on this little bounce here we'll call that level 483 so 483 would then be the next level of resistance if the price can break out of the channel again uh, like it did in the past but that's right where it found support right or excuse me resistance right there so um, these are the key levels uh, like I said if you're a swing trader then uh, you know you're definitely not gonna be the only one watching these levels these are pretty evident to anybody that uses charts so a lot of people will be watching these which also means they're, they'll carry quite a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy also uh, but hey it's one of those things where if there is a prophecy floating around out there I want to know it so that's uh, you know kind of the flip side of that so if there are any other questions on the chart please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to sign up for a newsletter up there. When you do that, you will receive a free ebook. And if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your strategy as a trader, I'd encourage you to click below and look at our video course over eight and a half hours of education and teaching. It's been getting great third-party reviews. So I'd encourage you to make an investment into your education as a trader and check it out. One more time, this was AAPL. Thanks for listening and have a great weekend.